So a small workflow tip. Um, when working with Rhino files, they can be very big files. It can be, for instance, complete hospital or whatever building or you name it. Um, when it's a really big file and you go to Unreal and you start importing your CAD data, it can take a long time. So what I usually do is inside Rhino, I select layers like this and I export them selected. Well, fortunately, there is a script because it's a manual process in that way. So there is a Rhino script. If you run it, it's called export layers object with origin. You can find it on the Rhino website. Just search for it and you will find it and you can download it for free. So if I now say OK, it asks me for, let's say, the origin and it starts exporting all these layers individually. What it basically does is creating new uh, Rhino files and it adds next to the main name, it adds the layer name. So if I go now, once done, I go to Unreal and say import, let's say this one, I can load it, there you go, and you see in just a few seconds or less than a minute this um, you have your first part already in here so you can start working now immediately instead of waiting for it to import forever um, you can also do it like this um, so if you take the wing for instance and you take the gummy which is the tires you can input <coughs> multiple file names and open and it will load two at a time so it's now processing one it's now processing the other and we got the wing here and we got the tires here as well. So that's an easy thing. Now it makes it much simpler to really start working immediately. As you can see, it imports the files. Here you go. And it has the name attached to it like in the original. So it's also a pretty nice way to be organized inside Unreal automatically. So nothing changes on that front. So organizing is easy. Uh, getting to work is quicker and I just, when I have the time, I load the next one and the next one and the next one. So this is how I work most of the time, exporting different layers and using a free Rhino script called Export Layer Objects with Origin. So just a small tip, you can use it or not, but I find it useful. Cheers.